perfect. Okay, there. I think it'll work. Whoa. <laughs> I was going to try to ride it. Okay, All right, here we go. Whoa. Good. You're free. Let's go get the other one. We got that limit. There's another oh. one too. It's so stuck. Okay, go ahead. Good. done to ourselves by positioning the mill where we did. So when we're bringing these logs up here, oftentimes that they're they're, you know, they're cut, they're angled, and then they won't roll up onto the chalk. So what we've been doing is just throwing a chunk of wood on the close end, and then using the PV, we can just kind of it'll just kind of roll and it cants it around a bit. Ow, I just ran over my foot twice. So we're straight or parallel with the rails of the mill rails. What's this one? This must be a, what, a 12? There we go. I'm going to say 12. Close to the. Nah, we'll be fine, right? It looks good. Okay. I mean, the, the log might be a little too far uphill for our blade, but it should be alright. Sometimes it finds right where that extension bolts on. Pull it back a little bit. I mean, I'm just moving the tiniest bit. Let's try that. Big buzzer. One more. Let's see that. Okay, I'm uh, two inches high. It looks great. Let's go back, check your end. To me, it looks like it's going to give us a good. A good four by six.
plus a little bit. Okay, coming down three and a half. Three and a half, and let the line show, so a little heavy. So this was our biggest log, and we've gotten a lot of lumber out of this one, so we're gonna go for a, a four by eight here. Eric setting it up. Four by eight, Eric. Seven and a quarter. Seven and a quarter. This side, we want the seven and a quarter on. That's right. We give it a little extra. Right there. Strong. This one's gonna be heavy. <laughs> four by, oh, green four by eight. So can you explain what you're doing with this last little bit? So we're just gonna remove it, give us a nice flat surface for the next uh, set of, uh, of beams we're gonna cut. So we're gonna slide it over just enough to take it all off. Okay, we've come to the end Can of this particular uh, you length. Explain it in Swedish for oh, our Swedish friends. Det kan man göra, men lite svårt för mig. Så har det varit 25 år sedan jag bodde i Sverige. Lite svårt. Tita, lila hund. Where? There's a purple dog over there. <laughs> All right, so Eric, um, uh, we we're, we're going to try to get two buys out of here, and we've maxed out. We can't get the carriage any lower, and that's basically it. So. What we're going to do is we're going to cut some firewood out of this and you've got the little husky huskvarna now there's some controversy on how you pronounce americans say huskvarna or yeah or mrs, husky. W, mrs. w says huskvarna huskvarna how would you say it i say huskvarna you know what it means uh house something M mill house really? M mill house that's what i've been told i didn't know that yeah i think so anyway the little 540 i like it yeah it is an awesome it saw. saved my arm we just completed all the cutting. How many trees did we take down, Eric? Was it three? Three, three trees, and we ended up with, well, we ended up with a lots, lot of wood here. We've got uh, four by fours, four by sixes, four by eights, two by fours, two by sixes, two by eights. Was that basically it? Yeah, it looks, some little stuff on top. Some looks, yeah, some little, yeah, some one buys and different things. So that is a pretty good load. It's uh, green and it's heavy. I could feel that coming out of here. I might have to put it in four wheel drive just to get up the driveway. All right, there we go. We've got our work cut out for us unloading that. I like Eric's idea, maybe just let it cure on the trailer for, the, for a few months. <laughs>